Trigonometric ratios is one of the most important factor of trigonometry. The origin of trigonometry has finally led to trigonometric ratios which help us in solving the previously discussed puzzles. The main intention of trigonometric ratios is to solve some of the mysteries like finding the height of the Kutub Minar or crossing the river or finding the width of the river flowing opposite to go to the opposite side of the forest. So how do we see, let's see how trigonometric ratios have come into existence. What is the purpose for inventing the trigonometric ratios or we can call this as origin of trigonometric ratios. So let's see how it comes into existence, of course connected with right angled triangles. So in this case, let me imagine a right angled triangle which is say quite very small out here. I take a very small right angled triangle, in this case right angled at this and this being theta. So if this is theta and this is right angled triangle, then obviously we know that the side opposite to right angle is hypotenuse and the side opposite to theta is opposite and obviously the third side is adjacent is what we understand in this triangle one. So this is triangle one. Similarly, I take the triangle two. So in this case, let me take a little bigger triangle, same. In this case, same angle theta. I do not change the angle theta, which is for this. The same angle is maintained out here. And then this is opposite. This is hypotenuse and this is adjacent. Next, I consider the third triangle, the triangle 3, which is quite big. This is the triangle, which is bigger than this and more bigger than this. And here, I take the angle theta. Now, let's identify H, O and A. This is H, this is O and this is a. Now since each of them are with different dimensions, I take this O1, H1, A1, O2, H2, A2 and O3, H3, A3 because the three sides are different. Each of the respective three sides, H, O and A are different. So for triangle 1, my hypotenuse is denoted with H1 opposite with O1 and adjacent side with A1 but interestingly for each of them, the angle is same. This is, is a very important note to be made that here one of the angle theta is same but the, each of the sides are with different dimensions. Smaller triangle, medium triangle and a bigger triangle. So here theta is same, it is not changed. So let's see what interesting factors come into existence in the trigonometric ratios. So mathematicians started identifying for triangle 1, say I take for triangle 1, I, I just divide opposite side with hypotenuse and then for triangle 2, I just divide the opposite side with H2 and for triangle 3, I divide opposite side with hypotenuse. Interestingly, mathematicians have come out that for triangle 1, where the theta is same, O1 by H1 gave an approximate k value. Say, it is some k. When divided, it gave some decimal value, which was denoted with some k. Similarly, for triangle 2, with the same angle theta, when this was divided with this, the measurement of O2 divided with H2 has given the similar approximate value of k. It gave the same k as obtained in triangle 1. Further, when this side was divided with this side approximately with the same angle theta, this dimension by this dimension of the third triangle also gave an approximate value of k. That means each of the triangles had k which was approximately same. 
but not exactly equal but with minute error in the value of k therefore this made mathematicians understand on the common factor between each of the triangles where one of the angle is same in a right angle triangle where theta is same then there was some relation between opposite side and hypotenuse of each of the triangles where all of them were k etc so the mathematicians started calling that opposite by hypotenuse as sin theta the purpose of inventing this common thing was denoted with opposite side by hypotenuse and it was defined as sin theta the word sin which stands for sin of theta was taken as the root so sin theta was the value given for opposite side divided by hypotenuse so whatever k i get here is now called sin theta when i divide the opposite side by hypotenuse the value i obtain is called sin theta and that is for any triangle with angle theta i take uh, how a big size of a triangle as huge as a sky and take the angle theta to be same then opposite side by hypotenuse of that triangle will be same as opposite side by hypotenuse of this smaller triangle that's how we conclude through the opposite by hypotenuse similarly as we connected opposite and hypotenuse there were also similar comparisons made from adjacent by hypotenuse so let's see what interesting facts have come through adjacent and hypotenuse connected through the ratio next comes connecting adjacent and hypotenuse so for triangle 1 triangle 2 and triangle 3 i have adjacent by hypotenuse is approximately equal to adjacent by hypotenuse approximately equal to adjacent by hypotenuse which was denoted with some k this was also true for adjacent divided with hypotenuse just like opposite with hypotenuse so whatever adjacent length divided by hy hypotenuse and this by this and this by this of any size triangle provided theta is same has given me all equal values and that equal value was denoted with cosine theta cosine theta is what it is denoted with so this value has been denoted with cosine theta or cos theta is called adjacent by hypotenuse is what has been derived as the formula for trigonometric ratio one of the trigonometric ratio is cosine theta or cos theta is adjacent by hypotenuse now lastly let's see the comparison between opposite side and adjacent we have compared between o h h a now comes the turn on comparing between a and o so let's see what is the interesting conclusion made out there by the mathematicians now let's see the relation between opposite and adjacent side where for triangle 1 triangle 2 and triangle 3 i have opposite by adjacent for triangle 1 is also equally approximately equal to the opposite by adjacent of the triangle 2 similarly if we take the opposite side with adjacent side for triangle 1 is approximately equal to o2 by a2 approximately equal to o3 by a3 which is some constant k this also made the mathematicians come out with tangent theta or tan theta equals o by a is how we understand the trigonometric ratios so these are the three trigonometric ratios now that we have connected a with h h with o and o with a we have three trigonometric ratios invented by mathematicians for a right angle triangle using this purpose of same angle theta so therefore let's recap with how the trigonometric ratios are framed into formula therefore for three trigonometric ratios which we have identified for a right angle triangle r for this right angle triangle
if this is theta then this is opposite side and the hypotenuse and the adjacent side then the first trigonometric ratio we call it as sine theta is opposite by hypotenuse and the second trigonometric ratio which is called cos theta or cosine theta is adjacent by hypotenuse and the third which is tan theta or tangent theta is opposite by adjacent are the three trigonometric ratios identified for a right angled triangle is how we understand sine cos and tan the three trigonometric ratios in order now let's see the reverse trigonometric ratios or reciprocal trigonometric ratios it's very simple that we have already discussed for a right angle triangle where this is theta and this is right angle this is hypotenuse opposite and adjacent we had three trigonometric ratios sine theta cos theta and tangent theta as opposite by hypotenuse adjacent by hypotenuse opposite by adjacent now these three trigonometric ratios which are called the standard trigonometric ratios have led to the reverse trigonometric ratios which are cosecant theta or we can call this even as cosec theta equals 1 by sine theta so reciprocal of sine is called cosecant theta and the reciprocal of this would definitely make this reverse wo by h to h by wo therefore hypotenuse by i opposite is referred as cosecant theta and opposite by hypotenuse is referred as sine theta to start with this then secondly my cos theta when reversed gives me secant theta or sec theta the short form of secant theta is sec theta and this is nothing but reciprocal of cos which we refer reciprocal of cos is secant and then that is h by a because a by h is cos i get this as hypotenuse by adjacent similarly when i take the tan the reciprocal of tangent theta is called cotangent theta therefore this is called cotangent theta written in the short form as cot theta so that this reduces to the reciprocal of tan so the reciprocal trigonometric ratios have their own formula where cosecant is 1 by sin secant is 1 by cos and cot or cos cotangent is 1 by tan therefore tan theta being wo by a will be a by wo that is adjacent by opposite is what we get for the reciprocal trigonometric ratios taken as a formula reverse trigonometric ratios are cosecant secant and cot and the standard trigonometric ratios or sin cos and tan have their own respective formulae with their own definitions